for few other people to join in and we'll start very soon. Uh, please hold on with us for some time. Should we start? Uh... Yeah, I think we can start. Yeah. So, uh, a very good af afternoon to everyone, those who have already joined in. And uh, on behalf of Exceller and VC now, uh, you know, uh, a very good afternoon. I am pulling this site and welcome you all to the Excelerize live webinar on insights to the postgraduate certificate program in business management. This live webinar today uh, is aimed at providing you vital information on key aspects of BAS 39 of the PGCBM program, which uh, started its journey during 2008. So since 2008, this program is on offer. We will discuss, discuss about the program positioning, its objective, and as to how this can act as a ladder to your professional success. We would uh, also be joined in by a few alumnus from our past batches whom we will introduce subsequently. We are thankful that they have made time to attend this webinar today. Uh, we have two alums from Bangalore and Mumbai. We will introduce you to them very soon. The flow of today's session would be as under. Firstly, Professor Santosh Sangam will speak on the PGCBM program, which will be followed by a few of our alumni speaking on their learning journey with XLRI and how it has helped them in their career progression plans. After this, we will open up uh, for Q&A session and you may get your queries answered also. In the meantime, you can post in your queries on, on the chat as well while the webinar is ongoing. We are extremely thankful to Professor Santosh Sangam for granting his valuable time for sharing insights on the program. May I now give a very short introduction to Dr. Sangam before he commences his engagement for this evening. Uh, welcome, Professor Sangam. Uh, Dr. Santosh Sangam is chairperson, virtual interactive learning, and has been associated with XLRI since 2009. He is faculty in the finance area and is based out of XLRI Jamshedpur campus. Dr. Sangam is a chartered accountant, CFA, and has a PhD in economics from IM Calcutta. He has provided training to many reputed Indian companies, to name a few, Accenture, Capgemini, LNT, Madura, NHPC, NTPC, YCOM 18, etc. His areas of interest include accounting, financial analysis, management control systems, bank management, financial markets, and corporate finance. He is co author of the scholarly book, Indian Business Groups Strategy and Performance, jointly with Professor Ram Kumar Kakani and Madhu Sethi, Madhvi Sethi, which was published during 2015 by Cambridge University Press. I extend a warm welcome to Professor Sangam and request him to share some insights on the postgraduate certificate in business management program. Thank you, Pulak. Yeah. Thank you, Daras. Thank you all. So on behalf of XLRI, I welcome all of you to this webinar for where the primary objective is to essentially you know, talk about some of the key highlights of the program that is the postgraduate certificate in business management, which is currently running into its 39th batch. And to take some of your queries that you may have regarding the program. So 
uh, as most of you, some of you might be aware, XLRI has been the pioneer in the online education space. So we started way back in 2002 and our first offering was the PGCBM program, right? And over the years, it's been uh, the flagship program of virtual interactive learning programs of XLRI. Now, we have had a long history with this being the 39th batch. And when we designed the program, the idea was that there are quite a few working professionals who initially started off in their own technical domains. But as your career progression moves, we all in realize that invariably we have to equip ourselves with some of the and concepts and tools of management because you invariably are involved in decisions which are more broad ranging, right? And with that idea in mind, we came up with the, we designed the post-grad certificate program in business management. Now, XLRI is guided by its vision of, you know, continuous improvement, right? Okay. Now, keeping this in mind, right? Each time when we, you know, look at the market trends, the feedback we receive from our students, alumni, we keep revisiting our program content, right? So that's one of the key, you know, strengths of us, of our program in the sense that we, we keep content which is more industry relevant. Now, because of this as well, right, this long history, the reputed XLRI brand and the continuous improvement in our offerings, this program, uh, our VL programs and the PGCBM program have a history of acceptance in industry, right? So these are programs which are widely recognized by leading organizations in industry. We have many of our alum who are in very reputed organizations. We will be talking to a couple of them in some time, right? Now, if you look at the VIL programs, right? When, what, when you come to the VIL program, you're essentially working at being part of the broader XLRI alumni, board, XLRI alumni base and becoming a flag bearer of XLRI. And if you look at the acceptance of EL programs over the past, right? Till date, we have around more than 7,500 alumni in our VIL programs alone, right? Of which a significant chunk is from the PGCBM program because it's been our oldest pro running program, right? So that's roughly the history the history about the program. Now, when you look at this program, as we said, this program is designed to initiate you to the world of management and management concepts, right? Whether it will be able to give you everything in management under the sun, the answer is no. No program in the world can ever do that, right? But with, as working professionals, with your experience, right, you will be able to better connect with the concepts and the tools taught in the course, and you'll be able to see opportunities for applying the same in your organizations, right? So in a sense, you can think of this course as your first journey into the world of management concepts and management education, right? So. When we designed this course, right, uh, we uh, have in fact recently redesigned this entire program given the changes that have been happening around. So, uh, Mr. Pulak, if you could just pull up the program content uh, slide on the page on the brochure. I, I will do that. I'll do that. I'll just share that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's page number four. Yeah. 
So if you can see, we have worked around, you know, the program content by dividing it into three different modules spread across three different terms. Overall, the duration of uh, the program is 300 hours. That is, there will be live sessions for 300 hours, which you will have to attend. And these 300 hours would be spread across these various courses. If you look at it, the first term, we do the fundamentals, right? The fundamental courses such as economics, right? The legal environment, supply chains, okay? Marketing principles and so on. Right. So these are the foundations which will help you, you know, build on or appreciate slightly more in slightly more intermediate to advanced concepts, which we talk about in term two, wherein we look at human resource management, corporate finance, organizational behavior, leadership skills and all of those. Right. The third semester is a semester where you are actually going to use the learnings from the first two semesters and apply it to specific context, right? Whether it be in how you arrive at the value of a business, right? How do you manage products? What are the spe specific nuances in managing services, businesses? How do you manage projects and so on and so forth? So roughly, that's how we have design or rather redesign the whole curriculum of this program right so starting with the foundations the intermediate concepts and the and ending with the specialized applications right so that's essentially how we have gone about it so if you look at you know this program versus others obviously there'd be a lot more op options for you right the main differentiating factor okay of this program is the you know the thought process that's gone behind the structure the design right and the fact that you know the inputs will be given by xlri faculty who are globally renowned right so that's essentially about the program content now as i said the program these courses will be delivered across you know 300 hours of live sessions there will also be a campus component of physic where you come to visit the campus but my caveat here is that until we get regulatory approvals from the state government concerning the covid situation we are not in a position to pre-announce the dates so in fact uh, our practice has always been that before we, at the time of the launch itself, we pre-commit to the uh, campus component dates. But because of this uncertainty around COVID, we are not in a position to currently freeze the dates, right? So that's essentially how we'll be delivering it. So you, so in the campus component, you get a chance to come visit the beautiful campus of XLRI in the town of Jamshedpur. Okay, you can interact with your batchmates, you can interact with the faculty, right? So that's a different kind of learn experience altogether. So that's essentially how we deliver. Now, one thing, this is an academic program. It's not a program for the weak hearted, right? XLRI prides itself on its on the academic rigor in the programs, right, of VIL and in the regular programs. And that's one of the reasons why we have been able to consistently maintain our reputation as the number one private business school in India since a very, very long time, right? Now, in this program, there will, each course will have minimum attendance requirements. There will be assessments by the faculty. So you will have to put in a significant amount of effort, right? So it's not like, you know, you just attend the class and forget it. You will have to keep putting effort outside the class. And the reason for it is that unless you put in those efforts, 
what is taught in the class will not get reinforced. And reinforcement happens when you start thinking about what has been taught, right? So if you believe that, okay, you don't have more than six hours a week, you can only attend the classes, this program is definitely not for you. If you're someone who is willing to put in the efforts, the hard work and get the benefits of it over your career, right? And that will definitely show because by the, as our alumni and may alumni of these programs would tell you, right? They, they would have noticed a, sig a significant change in the way they used to, you know, function and take decisions pre-joining the program and post-joining the program, right? So, but for that positive out, uh, difference post-joining, you, you will be required to grind and put in the work during the duration of the program. That's the one, yeah, right? So roughly, that's all that I have to say about the program content. I believe the details of fees, etc., are already shared with you. What in the brochure? What is the starting date, and so on. So, what I would uh, request uh, Mr. Pullak is to yeah. pass on yeah. the baton to, and sure. then I can come back later and take your questions. Sure. sure. So, thank you, everyone. Sure. So, uh, thank you, Professor Sangam. Uh, uh, we will certainly, you know, after we finish off the webinar, we will recirculate the uh, the brochure, all the vital information on your mailbox, so that you need not have to look around. So you will have all the information in hand. In the meantime, uh, let me also extend a warm welcome to two of our, you know, alums. You know, we have Mr. Gautam Ghosh, and we also have Mr. Vibhuti Bhushan Shahu. Mr. Vibhuti has joined in from Bangalore, and Mr. Gautam Ghosh is based out of Mumbai, but he has joined in from Kolkata today. Uh, uh, Mr. Gautam Ghosh uh, is the national head of sales for CA Tires, uh, the RPG group, and uh, he's based out of Mumbai. Uh, he's a M-Tech by qualification, and uh, he has also pursued the PGCBM, uh, the 29th batch. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I thank uh, uh, Mr. Gautam Ghosh to uh, give us the, uh, rendering his valuable time despite being so busy. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Bibhuti Bhushan Shahu is uh, basically, uh, he's an executive director with Jane's Defense LLP. And he has almost about 20 plus years of experience with a diversified portfolio. And he has worked in various areas of software and product development, managing large teams in IT industries to deliver products and software solutions. He looks after the business strategy, customer relations, new products, innovation, and talent development, and few of his uh, you know, major passions working together and engaged fearlessly in his key to success. So he was with us in the batch 31 of PDCPM. I extend a warm welcome to both. And I would definitely, you know, ask, uh, you know, start with Professor, uh, with Mr. Gautam to share his uh, insights and his experience of the program and how is, he has leveraged the qualification, uh, you know, through, throughout his career, followed by Mr. Bhibhuti. Uh, the idea of, uh, you know, the, the PDCPM program has always been very, very diverse in terms of, uh, you know, qualification in terms of experience, in terms of industry vert verticals. So we have people from various industry vert verticals, very diverse. Even in experience profile also, we have people ranging from, you know, students ranging from, uh, you know, uh, uh, two years, five years, seven years, up to 20, 25 years of experience. So that is how the program builds up, you know, overall. And uh, yes, uh, over to Mr. Gautam to share his insights. Thank you, Bulak. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Uh, you know, I am really happy Jay, I'm able to connect you because, you know, five years back, you know, a similar kind of situations happened, you know, in my mind, Jay, really what kind of program it is. 
uh, because I did this program in 2015 to 16 uh, during that year, during that year, okay. And, you know, I have that kind of, you know, curiosity. Generally, most of the people, they are doing their program, uh, say, two years or two years classroom program. But, you know, we are the uh, employee, how at that point of time, it is not possible. But at the same time, we have the curiosity in my mind that without MBA, MBA kind of programs, you know, we cannot become the business leader. That is the initial uh, uh, thought process. Clear. But definitely in our mind, the what kind, what kind of program it is. Clear. So now, you know, most of the, you know, all the programs, you know, because of this COVID, everybody is, you know, managing their business uh, through online. So nobody will now doubt the classroom uh, program is more efficient uh, with respect to the, this kind of VL program. It is not that because it is already COVID situation proved that the online, you know, the online is more effective. Clear? Another thing is that I will talk about this program because, you know, every day, uh, you know, for five days program, initially I thought whether it is possible to manage by maintaining my job. But that way, all the professors, uh, they, the way they're interacting with the students, really they develop that kind of, you know, curiosity. It is not that they, uh, even, you know, you will be surprised that during the entire, entire the year, I did not miss single classes. But it is not a compulsion, compulsion for me. It is not compulsion for me. But you know, the way all the professors and their course, their curriculum, they have conducted, I feel in internally, you know, uh, that kind of development they have been interested. And I, I participate in all the classes. Okay. And another thing is that you have to believe all these professors, those who know will participate in the program, same professors, they will take the class in their, you know, uh, normal uh, to uh, normal two years of program. Or if, if, you know, COVID situation will normalize, then if you, you can join in the Excellent, Excel, that's a beautiful campus because we, part, we, we went there and that was a great experience. Then usually you can understand same professor, same kind of curriculums that they, they are managing there. So, so it is a very interesting program. And again, I'm clearly I'm telling you, if you don't do this, then I, you, you will miss this program. Because, you know, if you write Excelera in your CV, everybody will recognize you from where you are achieving this, this kind of degree or certification course. Everyone knows what this Excelera is. So, obviously, they will believe they will have certain staffs, certain staffs, okay? So, so uh, but yes, definitely, you know, uh, just you achieving this degree will become the CV. It is not that. Because this program will develop you or help you to increase your potentiality. Because to increase, you know, to make your career path, there are two things are required. One is performance, every year performance that is needed. Another thing is the, for the next level, for the next level or promotion, then, then, you know, potential part is very, very important. And for the potential part, you know, day-to-day -day practice is very, very important. But one thing, this kind of program or this kind of certificate is very much required. And because a lot of financial marketing, a lot of concepts are there. And really, you will get uh, that kind of, you know, scope to learn from there. Another thing is that in, in, in our time, in our time, actually, uh, we visited uh, that, you know, that we, uh, their institutions, but maybe uh, maybe now all the programs will be run, maybe you can learn from your home. So that's a great opportunity. And my experience in Accelera, it is excellent, excellent. Eh? And uh, definitely, if you participate in this program, then after finishing that program, then you can conclude actually what you learned from them. Even, you know, my daughter, just they, uh, she will finish his IM program from Bangalore uh, the, uh, this, this March. And she saw all my books, what Accelerate sent me. And she told me, Papa, Joe books may be for now. What are the books I'm studying? Same books you are studying in Accelerate. You know, all the same level kind of institutions. You know, and this platform will give that kind of, you know, uh, programs. I think it is, you know, it will be very nice if you can participate, participate that programs. Definitely, you know, you can make your career path if really you are interested to make your career path. So thank you, uh, all of you. And, you know, if you have any specific questions, definitely you can ask, ask already, you know, uh, I am the national head of CATS. Already you saw a lot of advertisement in the TV, uh, like IPLs uh, and everything. So uh, after this, you know, you may, you may ask any question you have to write. I am really open uh, to say that answer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Gautam. Uh, can we move on to Thank Mr. You. Vibhuti? Uh, can you hear me, guys? Okay. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Vibhuti Sahu. I think 
uh, as Professor said, a lot of things he has explained in a very short way. I joined XLRI uh, by design. I mean, I was I had already done my uh, my you know management from uh, symbiosis, and I was just trying to, as I said during the initial stage, how how these top B schools in India, like uh, you know our IMB and as, as well as XLRI, the professors, what they teach is that was my first interest to know. And in my interview also, I said the same thing. And when I saw the things, I, I still remember one of the core, uh, you know, core uh, principle of XLRI that the teachers concepts, you know, how to apply on contest, right? This, this explains everything. So if really somebody would like to be a manager or be a leader, right? How you should know the concepts applying on contest, right? So that's one they say. And I thought that, yeah, definitely the materials, the designs, the principle and the confidence level that the professor brings in, we should not be fear for anything. Leadership is something that you, we should always look at doing things right, right? Not like somebody will tell us, do this thing right. Do things right versus do right things, right? These are the very few things that we like to always remember. It's not about just joining the course or joining, understanding what I have to do. I, it, it's uh, to be added to my certificates or my you know, CV, nothing, nothing like that. You need to learn that. You need to execute on your day-to-day -day experience. Then you apply that thoughts. But definitely the confidence level, the learning experiences. I am from a software development background, but I, have, I keep interest in strategy, financial you know, solutions development, customer relationship, talent development is one of my core area. How do we create talents from a scratch, right? How do we create people from the corporates? How do we create an industry-ready uh, corporate talents? So management techniques can be applied there. So learn the books and, and definitely a lot of hard work has to be go through to create your uh, case studies, understanding the concepts and applying on the case studies. So they will definitely test us in terms of how much we understand the concept, not that how much we buy hearted the books and you know just keep on taking the options of ABCD, nothing like that. We need to work hard to get something done in your career. Thank you. Thank you, Gautam. Thank you, Vibhuti. Thank you, Mr. Pillar. So, I guess let us, can we start taking the question and answer session? Yes, I think, I think we can, I think people, uh, you know, most of the participants have some queries. Mm -hmm. So, we will take it up. Few queries yeah. are already on chat. Uh, okay, so let me first address the chat but, queries. I'll address the yeah, chat yeah, queries yeah. first, and then those who are interested, they can come on air and ask the questions. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, so Rahul had a question as to when the course will start, right? The course will start around mid-May, okay? So, and we'll have an orient academic orientation somewhere around the first, uh, first week or so of May, and the session will start around the second week of May, right? Uh, yes, uh, study material. So whatever study material the faculty recommends for the courses, the books, etc., they are typically sent to uh, the students in advance of the starting of the courses. Now, generally for the first one or two courses, you might experience a bit of delay because we wait until the registration process is over to pro uh, make the bulk procurement and dispatch it. But typically the faculty will ensure that, you know, uh, you will have enough material to for the initial sessions until you get the books, right? So as such, if you talk about prior study material, uh, we would, we don't really have much of prior study material. There may be a few uh, record sessions that we will give you okay on some basic concepts but generally we would like you to come with an open mind and a clean slate okay so that's the that's my response to rahul yeah chaitali uh, you are from the media field right yeah uh, so i believe the first question about the start of the program i've already addressed yeah, there have been professionals from the media sector who have taken up this course, right? And the good thing about this program is that we have designed it to be largely industry agnostic, okay? So you can be from whichever industry domain, right? 
but you'll find that the concepts that are taught here that delivered here would have relevance in your industry right so if you look at the spread of our alum we would you would invariably find that we would have some alumnus or the other or some student or the other from almost every conceivable you know discipline right or every conceivable industry okay so yes today we have had uh, students from media in the past right and maybe mr pulak can uh, try and uh, connect you to them okay and sure. in general as vibhuti and gautam have pointed out right there are two benefits to the program right one is if you are looking at the short term benefit of the immediate you know promotion etc right but the main benefits of this program will be seen to you in terms of your long term career path right it changes the way you look at situations you the way you evaluate and take decisions right the way you conduct yourself with your various stakeholders and so on so that's where you will see the main benefit of this program right so in the sense yes so it's a case of short term benefits right whether you might get the immediate promotion or get an immediate job shift promotion depends on your organizational policies right the job shift basically depends on industry conditions right but the benefits of this program will stay with you throughout your career okay yeah mm. okay now so i believe rahul also had the similar query as to how the program elevated the careers right uh shivam has a question that apart from basic eligibility so we look at all aspects of the candidate's background that's the organization the number of years of work ex the nature of work ex right and your entire academic background while deciding whether to select or not right yeah anusuya yeah you your question is that you are into luxury retail and you've done luxury brand management see whether i would recommend something like this course for you depends entirely on what kind of career objectives you have for yourself so invariably if you're looking at a managerial role kind of a career path for you then i would suggest that you take up this program if you are planning to stay in a relatively narrow role then more specialized programs dealing with your role would be better for you so i won't say that you should you should not it all depends on what kind of career path you are think laying out for yourself right but ultimately you are the decision maker so if you think that you would like to remain in the in the short term within your own domain right or with, then there are different kinds of courses but if you would like to have a more generalist managerial role for you over the future right then this is the program for you yeah uh, a question as to whether there is any dissertation at the end of this program yes there is a dissertation but that's optional and that is not given for everyone so you have to have some minimum academic performance at the end of the first term and only then you would be eligible for uh, doing the dissertation and unlike other places here the dissertation is done under the guidance of a faculty right so how effectively you can utilize the dissertation depends on your willingness uh, to work and your interest to work okay mm. yes shivangi as regards the recordings right uh, mr pulak will tell you but we do uh, provide recordings right okay but not for a long time there is a fixed duration in which you can get access to the recordings now i have seen a couple of questions right uh about placement assistance now this is a program for working professionals right 
so we do not provide any kind of placement assistance from our end we have a internal placement notice board wherein the recruiters and vl alumnus they post information about openings in the organization which we just share so it's more of an information board but there is no formal placement assistance that we provide and that's primarily because the program is targeted at working professionals. Uh, Anusuya, yeah, uh, you, yes, you often heard that while hiring, there is a difference between seeing an online certificate versus a full time program. Yes, invariably in the world, there will be those differences because let's and face it, an online program would be around 300 hours of duration. A residential full-time program would be around 900 plus uh, 750 to 1000 hours of duration. So there will be some differences in the quantum of inputs, right? But with the VIL programs, the emphasis on the quality of the inputs and the relevance of the inputs is something which makes the program stand out and has contributed over the years to the acceptance, right? In fact, as our alumni will also attest, right, in their organizations and within themselves, right, you would find that there's not much difference between the way a full-time MBA is able to function, the way a VIL PGCBM uh, alumnus is able to function, right, or a student is able to function. So that's one important takeaway from the further from the program. Right. So, yes, if somebody wants a full time MBA, then obviously they would probably not take a look at you. But if somebody is looking for a person with management education as a qualification, then yes, this is this program does have a good reputation in the market. Right. Manish, whether there is any classroom program. There's no separate classroom program. There is a campus program, right? There's a campus component wherein you come for five days to the campus. And during these five days, there'll be a mix of group activities, classes, interactions with the faculty, right? And some exams as well, right? Okay. So that's typically how uh, it will be there, but yes. When it will happen is not something that we can talk about. And it is compulsory for you to attend the campus component. So we'll be giving you, uh, given the current COVID situation, we'll be giving you at least a month's advance notice so that you can plan out with your organizations, right? As to when you would, uh, when you would be able to, uh, when you would be requiring the leave, okay? Mm. Mayank, uh, Mayank Goyal, I think I have already addressed about how the program will place you in industry and also about placement opportunities, right? Uh, Bhavya, when you have any doubts in the course which is going on, you can always reach out to the faculty and get your doubts clarified, right? And as regards the students, we have separate WhatsApp and Telegram groups for the students of each batch so that they can also interact with each other, right? So that's one new thing that we have done over the past few years, right? And we are also, we also have a discussion forum now, right? Okay. Uh, Shivangi, uh, it will be difficult for you to attend Thursday session. I would suggest that you talk with your employer and see if you can get some concession for Thursday. If not, then I would suggest that you don't take up the program, right? Because it will be difficult for you. Let's face it, right? We have minimum 80% attendance requirement. We, and if you don't uh, fulfill it, there's no point, right? Okay. 
just to yeah. add, uh, just to add to uh, Shivangi's comment, since you have worked with uh, RBS, uh, we we earlier had many participants from Royal Bank of Scotland uh, in our PM program. So you can also take a feedback from them also as well. And most mm -hmm. progressive organizations, you know, actually allow people to kind of encourage people to mm. do the program, you know, so you, you, you must take it up and, and request. Yeah. So invariably, when we've had uh, participants in the past, right, or, or applicants in the past who, where, who have found that their schedules don't clash, generally when they talk to their HR or their bosses, they find that they get the permissions. So you will, so if you're serious about the program, I don't think it will be very difficult for you to convince your, you know, bosses, reporting bosses and, you know, that to give you the leeway for taking the Thursday off, right? Or changing the shift on Thursday. Okay. Um, okay. Um, one question, whether it's a recognized degree course. Uh, right now, the PGCBM is not yet recognized by AICT because AICT has just recently come up with some norms and there is still some, there is still a lack of clarity as to what will be the process procedures for recognition. So at least as of now, we don't, uh, it's not a recognized course by course recognized by AICTE, right? And it's definitely, it's not a degree course. It's a postgraduate certificate course, right? Uh, Venkat, is the program designed for managers to improve their efficiency or will it help functional managers to become overall better, overall business managers? Answer is yes to both. Right. While, so when you look at this program, we have courses from various disciplines, right? Okay. So we don't, so every management related, management and related discipline is covered in this program. So as such, when you, if, when you are able to assimilate the learnings from across all the programs together, you'll find that it will help you become a better overall business manager. And the learnings from individual courses will help you along the way in the specific function that you are currently in, right? So we have both the objectives. So an immediate objective, some of the courses would help you in the current function that you are in. And overall, the program will help you shape yourself up to become a better business manager, right? Uh, yeah, Aditi, when you come to the campus for the campus component, you will get, uh, you will be staying in the campus, right? Okay. Avinash, this, uh, in this program, the classes are online, right? So we have two options. One is what we call as direct to device, where you can uh, attend the classes from wherever you are. Other is uh, where you can attend the classes from the designated centers of VC now. That is obviously subject to the government uh, regulations in those centers, right? Okay. So, yeah. Ravi, uh, you're currently working in Jaguar Group, right? whether it will help you in getting promotions or if you switch. See, as I said earlier, benefits from the program, are short term, long term, right? Long term, it will help you become a better manager, right? And that will reflect in the path that your career is taking over the long term. Short term, whether you get promotions, whether you are, whether you are able to get promotions depends entirely on the policies of your organization. Right, and different organizations have different policies. So it would not be fair on my part to comment on that, right, or to make any commitment on that. Similarly, the ability to switch jobs depends on the current situation of industry at the time you are shifting, looking at 
a job shift, right? So both of these are external to XLRI, so we cannot really say much about it. But in the past, there have been many students of ours, you know, who have received promotions in their organizations, who have switched jobs, right? Not only after completion, but also when they were undergoing the program. So both the opportunities are there, but how well those how well those opportunities would work out for you would depend on your organizational policies or would depend on what's happening to industries, right? Uh, Deban, uh, I didn't get your question. Is this acceptable to any company in the sense? See, uh, as I said, uh, the PGCBM program is our oldest program and, you know, it has been around for almost 20 years now, right? We have a very strong alum base and we have a very strong recognition in industry, right? So then most industries do recognize the PGCBM program, most organizations, which are... and almost all the highly reputed ones do recognize the PGCBM program and invariably you will find some alumni or the other of the PGCBM or the PCHRM or any of the XLRI's VIL programs in such organizations, right? Uh, whether it will be useful for pursuing PhD in the future, again, that depends on the admission policies of the institute or the university where you are applying for the PhD. As you would be aware, different universities, different, you know, institutes have different requirements, right? So, for example, if you look at XLRI's own PhD program, our requirements are different, right, from that of university PhD programs in India. Indian university PhD programs, the requirements are different from US university PhD programs and so on, right? So that would be very specific to your case, right? Uh, whether education loans are being offered by banks, I believe the team of VC now has a, has tie-ups with some banks and NBFCs, right? Yes. So you can reach out to them, okay, and they will provide you the information, right? Rahul, we have a system for recording attendance. And you need to maintain 80% attendance in each course, not just overall in the program. There are 19 courses. You have to have 80% attendance in each of the 90 courses. Otherwise, we start penalizing you in terms of the grades. Right. So that scary part is reserved for the students after they enroll. Right. So at this stage, I would not like to scare you much on this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, project work. See, typically in terms of the project work, students generally take up some topic which is more broad based, you know, so it's, we have a variety. So we have some students take up slightly more broad based topics on, you know, or broad based projects on issues which are relevant to their current organizations. We also have students taking up, you know, uh, this, uh, the project work or the dissertations in a subject domain of their interest, right? So, for example, let's say somebody wants to explore the world of digital marketing, right? Even though it may not be covered in the course, right? So, they might find the opportunity to, uh, you know, take it up with uh, under the guidance of faculty and so on, right? So, that... In that sense, right, uh, <clears throat> the project work is quite flexible, right? The only criteria that the faculty look at, okay, is whether it is doable, right? Because we all, many of us, you know, are tempted by doing for, tempt, uh, given to the temptation of doing something which is earth shattering and all, but you also have a time limit, right, for finishing the project work. This is generally around three months. So there's only so much you can do in three months, right? So, but yeah, so the faculty would uh, 
the faculty who is uh, under whom you are doing the dissertation would typically guide you through um, what should be the scope of your project, right? Anusha, there are no scholarships available for this program, right? Okay. So, as such, we don't have any, eh? right? And Prasad, yes, it, yeah, it is comparable with uh, the advanced management programs, but to be honest, what many of the international advanced management programs talk about is much more limited. Okay, in terms of the scope, this is more of a broad based program. So it will help you to think of this as more of a basic to intermediate program, right? What is advanced management is quite different from what many institutions claim as advanced management, but let's not get into that, right? So this is basically, you can think of this course as helping you in starting your managerial journey. Mm, guidance for startups. Yeah, any, if you have any specific issues, you can always reach out to the course faculty, right? But we don't have any formal guidance as such, right? Okay. XLRI does have an entrepreneurship incubation center, right? So you can also reach out to the faculty who is in charge of the incubation center with your queries and so on. Okay. So I guess that covers the set of questions from here. Are there any more questions? Yeah. I think if you all have questions, you can unmute your mic. Uh, unmute uh, your yes. video, introduce was, yourself. Uh, there was one question and, from uh, me, I suppose, question. Yes. Out. Uh, that was uh, that, you know, I think uh, the alumni status, uh, what does it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So once you successfully complete the program, right? So we have certain eligibility, certain qualifying criteria in terms of the grades that you need to achieve then you become an, a full-blown alumnus of XLRI. So there you would get access to all the benefits and, you know, which regular alumni have. So you can access the alumni, you will have access to the alumni network, the database, and you will get information regarding the alumni events. Okay, you can participate in the alumni events. Alumni also... Uh, post their, uh, you know, information on job requirements and so on. Okay, job postings on their, on the alumni page, right? Plus the alumni, our whole alumni uh, interface, right? Uh, the web, the web interface is undergoing some major changes. So there'll be a lot more features that will be available in terms of discussion forums and so on. So overall, with the if you look at the total alumni strength, right, uh, the residential plus the VIL programs, that's like almost around fifteen to 12, close to fifteen thousand, twenty thousand mem uh, alumni members with whom you get the chance to interact, right? So that's essentially the main benefits of the alumni network here. Right, as with every institute, the alumni membership is essentially going to help you in your career for networking, right? So those are the main benefits of the alumni. That actually yeah. you know, takes care of your placement issue, as you know, and many a times we point out. So the, most of the executive programs, you know, uh, which are long term with a high rigor, they bring in the alumni benefit. And with the alumni benefit, you definitely, as Professor Sangam said, that there's a huge networking opportunity. You you get to you know create relationships within the industry, and which opens a path for you in the for the future also. So I think that is a good you know uh, uh, positioning uh, you know and and that is also a kind of you know a return on your investment on this program as well. Uh, while learning comes as a bundle. From the from the you know full time faculties of XLRI, you also get the alumni status along with it, which takes you a long way. 
yeah any any questions further questions you can uh, unmute uh, you know one at a time and we can yeah. any on. questions for gautam and devuti also because yeah. i think yeah. they also need to uh, you know uh, we had told them till 5 o'clock so you can yes, ask yes, questions yes. for gautam and devuti also you can unmute your audio video and uh, you know uh, introduce yourself and ask questions Hi sir, uh, my name is Manish. Uh, sir, I was just trying like uh, when I will get the details of the course and the course fee, and also sir has confirmed that we have the option for the loan also. Like for that loan, uh, can we we can take for the same. So that how I will get the support uh, the, for the same. Yeah, that details can be shared too. Yeah, Manish. So so Manish, uh, what we are going to do is that uh, after we end the webinar uh, within the next one hour or or uh, two hours. you will be receive, receiving all the information pertaining to the program on your on your mailbox we have your mail id and uh, our people will also get in touch with you in the meantime after we conclude i'll share the direct mobile numbers also wherein you can contact all right all right sir all right yeah. thank you much uh, but just for the you know uh, i mean sake of everybody the course fee is 2 lakh 90000 plus uh, 18% gst and uh, this time we have very flexible payment options also so the initial payment as you make you know you have to make a payment of 2500 plus gst towards your application money and further on a uh, amount of you know uh, 7500 rupees as your processing fee and further on uh, once you get selected you 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 can make your payment spread across five installments so each installment will be tentatively about you know 50 50 47000 70000 and and so on you know so it's it's going to be pretty well broken up so that you don't find it heavy on your pocket and you can manage it at your own pace the the interval between two you know uh, uh, installments would be about one one and a half months tentatively all right so we also have the loan facility also from stfc you know credila and other institutions which we will share with you as well right and sir how is the like uh, selection process that uh, is there like so, a yeah so the first step would be to apply online through a link that we would provide you and upload all your docu documents uh, that are desired and make a payment of 2500 and 7500 overall so total of 10000 rupees now after that uh, after your due evaluation is done by the institute uh, you will receive a intimation regarding your selection okay. and then you can go ahead with your next uh, tranche payment which is the second installment and uh, that's it i mean you go ahead with the program starting from mid of may right okay yes thanks so your selection and evaluation will be based on your profile screening which will be done by uh professor sangam and his team right any other question yeah any questions for gautam or bibuti okay shivangi has to has a question uh no i think you have heard it wrong because there is no two different alumni status right you are an xlri alumnus once you finish the vil programs we don't have a you know two separate uh, uh, classes of alumnus as some institutes have so you are an alumnus of xlri right uh venkat okay is the program equivalent to executive mba course in terms of course content see in terms of content and curriculum yes uh, if you look at the executive mba of iims their structure is a bit different because they are essentially degree programs right so they have to conform to the iim norms for degree programs as is a post graduate certificate program and we are governed by different norms right 
So it's not really similar to, it is a one year certificate program, but it's not equivalent to a one year full-time MBA program. A one year full-time MBA program would have around 800 odd hours of content. Here we have 300 hours, given that this is part-time for working executives, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, Anusha, on a scale of one to 10, how many hours do you put in a week? Okay. Uh, around, see, you have six hours of classes a week. Okay. Uh, spread over two days of the week. And in addition to that, you will have to put in around 10 to 12 hours of study on an average for while prepare, preparing for the end term exams, the quizzes, projects, classroom case study, case study readings, and so on. So around 10 to 12 hours, some courses might require more, some might require less, but on average, it's around 10 to 12 hours of time that you have to put in, right? Yes, on the survival, uh, Shivangi, just continuing your question on, XLRI certificate VIL is mentioned, but there is, as I said, there is no uh, distinction between alumnus in XLRI. You are an alumnus of XLRI, you are an alumnus, right? Because the rigor is the same. So when you join this program, you will go through the same level of rigor that we put in, that we subject the full-time students to, right? So, um, yeah, Christina, I think uh, once we see your application form, we can take a, we'll take a look at it, right? So typically having an academic gap need not necessarily go against you, right? But as a pull up pointed out, it's a whole profile and SOP based screening. So we will be, we will, until we take a look at the entire application, it will not be easy for me to commit to something right now. But I would suggest that you apply, right? Mm. Yeah, Bhavya, test classes, all will be online. Only thing is when you come to campus component, we might have some exams which are conducted physically. Right. Again, that depends on the faculty who is having the course at that time. Right. Yeah. Anton, about the classes, right? Uh, the platform that is used, I believe, is BlueJeans. Right? Good luck. Yes. So uh, uh, we would we would like to keep it neutral for all of you. So. The decision of the platform would be taken between XLRI and VC now. And uh, it could be any platform, a modern day platform, which is mm -hmm. adept with the new technologies incorporated. And uh, so it could be a Zoom, it could be a BlueJeans, or it could be any, any platform that, you know, the institution mm -hmm. decides upon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So after... Uh... After you miss the class, if you miss a class, you can access the recordings. Okay. But that is subject to the restrictions of, you know, the duration. So we don't keep recordings available for perennial, right? Recordings are available only until... Yeah. It's a 21-day window. Yeah. It's only for a 21-day period that we keep the recordings available. Right. Uh, yes, Venkat, the knowledge you're getting from this program would be closer to an executive MBA program because we'll be taking you through the basic concepts of management, intermediate concepts, and we'll be taking you through how you apply it in some special situations, right? Like you're managing your projects, managing service business, managing international businesses and so on, right? So that sense, the knowledge you will get is going to be closer to an executive MBA program.
in gautam and vibhuti uh, uh, is wanting to wanting an excuse from us because they have their work commitment so thank you gautam and vibhuti for joining in today uh, thank you gautam thank you vibhuti thank, thank you, you sir thank you. thanks all yeah. bye yeah. thank you good luck thank you thank you thank you so do we have any other queries okay shravan yeah i believe i already pointed that out right that your career the options available for switching are there but they are also largely dependent on what is the what would what is the situation in the job market and industry at that time right but we've had uh, quite a few of our students and alumni changing you know their industry domains after doing the program right i hope that answers your query shravan hi sir got it thank you okay shivangi the content cannot be same because a regular bm course has a thousand plus hours of content right here we are having only 300 hours so we'll be so it's obviously not equal to that of the business management full time business management program but essentially we will be covering you know the covering the stuff that most you know managers would be needing in the uh, most managers would need to know in their first exposure to management right yeah bhavya you can take the classes online from anywhere right if you opt for the direct to device mode and just to add that you uh, you won't be allowed to access your classes from your through your smartphone or tabs and you are restricted to access your classes while you are traveling so you have to be stationary at a place and access your classes through a laptop yeah the reason being that internet connectivity in india is not really good on the road right yes so it is and... preferable if you can you know park right. yourself in one place and attend the sessions so i guess if that concludes the queries then like to hand it over to pulak and his team yes. and yes. Uh, any further queries that you have the, their team will address you or um, you know yes. you can also write to the vil team they can also address right yeah uh yeah so christina this is a post graduate program but it's a post graduate certificate program right so it's not a degree okay so uh, i think i think uh, we need to also share uh, i think uh, this uh, prestigious number also as well because people can directly get in touch mm. uh, just one sec i will share the slide one second okay go ahead palak is it visible now everyone yes it's visible uh, sorry the slide it's getting overlapped actually yeah so for for, for those of you, you know i think you know manish and all who can get in touch with the we we have the the first number is the central number 
uh, of for our advisors you can also reach out to the second number 8700809176 directly we have pritish with us here who will be in case you have some you know immediate questions to be answered and uh, for whatever questions that has not been answered today uh, owing to paucity of time we will definitely pick up from the chat and we will address it to you our team will reach out to you very soon uh, you also have the email id is mentioned here you can write to either of these email ids directly or get an access to these numbers that we have mentioned here uh just to tell you that uh, you know uh, our seats are filling up fast and uh, uh, although april 30 uh, is is our you know the final closure date uh, but uh, you know uh, definitely the seats are filling up fast and uh, we are progressively issuing offer letters all this while so the phase 1 phase 2 is over and we are already in the phase 3 and this is going to be the final phase of uh, uh, recruitment for the program so the faster you act on it in terms of application it will be better uh, if you need any guidance support our team is there to assist you in your uh, efforts uh, so please please reach out to us i would like to thank professor sangam for uh, sharing his valuable time on this saturday evening uh, and uh, thank you so much professor sangam for your valuable time thank you pullak thank you daraj thank you pratish So I'll just sign off then. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Right. Thank and you. look forward to seeing yes. some of the yes. webinar participants in the program. So, thank you. Sure. Thank you. And thank you, participants, for joining in today evening. And uh, have a good weekend, nice weekend, and happy Holi to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you everyone.